When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's the more. <laughs> What's up my seals, Silthard here and we've just picked up a Mikkelit as you've seen there because he was the overwhelming winner of the votes. And speaking of Mikkelit, there's his inform as well as Bartelli's. So, not thrilled about coming up against that in the first game and this guy managed to get through pretty early on, smashes running with Bartelli, making it 1-0 to him and this game was really laggy. This isn't the video, this is the actual gameplay. It was horrible to play in. I thought it was because I was watching a YouTube video which is normally fine for me because I've got BT Infinity but not in this game. I even turned it off and still no joy and as you see there it's just disgusting but Eventually, we do get away and we've managed to get a goal back and then we come inside with Mikulit who gets another goal and Mikulit is just a god. I absolutely love him. I'm so glad he's in the team. Um, honestly, I, I honestly would have chosen any of those players but Mikulit is just really, really good. His finishing is amazing, his positioning, his shooting, his uh, passing and stuff like that, his dribbling, it's all just on point and we ended up drawing that game 3 all. it was a really good game and I was so lucky if you see those stats there he absolutely battered me um, and he hit the crossbar so many times but he could have been a bit more uh, sporting sending me that little message there but nonetheless after that game we go out, we pick up a contract card for Giuseppe Rossi and eventually picking up, it's a very annoying picking up contract cards because they go so quickly um, but we do get one in the end, stick it on him and then I think we might need to get a fitness card or whether, no in fact I think we just go straight into the game and we eventually get into this next game and this guy again uh, it's got a, I don't know, it's, it's not a terrible team, but it's it's not good. I mean, it's got Shola Amiobi, Jason Roberts, and Carlton Cole as a front three, which was interesting to say the very least. I mean, it took us till the second half to get any kind of breakthrough. Elvis Abrascato, I think is how you say it. Abrascato is what I'm going to go with. Gets on the score sheet, but then Shola Amiobi pops up with a volley. And I like Amiobi, he's a bit of a legend. He's not very good, but... He was, he was a decent player in the championship for Newcastle and he's been a very loyal servant to them. So I always like him because if you, you've been subscribed to me for a long time, you will know that I have kind of got Newcastle as a sort of a second team. I don't follow them religiously like I do Leeds, but I do like to see them win. So I, I, I like I like Amiobi basically is what I'm getting at. And then uh, we come up against this guy who's got a uh, incredibly just like high rated um, La Liga BBVA team. So much higher rate than ours, but uh, we got off to a good start. Mikel Lewis is tight dribbling and then just smashes it into the bottom corner. And that made it 1 0. And then we get another goal here. You see, Abrascato finds Mikel Lewis in the right place at the right time. And look at that for a left footed finish into the bottom corner. Keeper's been made to look a mug, but he also been made to look a mug massively there if Abrascato would have smashed that one in. Unfortunately, though, he doesn't, and Mikel gets on the end of it to seal his hat trick in the first like 30 minutes or something. I wasn't sure what time that was, but. Nonetheless, he gets through again, and roulette's the keeper, number four, game, set, and match. This guy was not playing anymore. He's been absolutely torn apart by Mikkeli, and can you blame him for leaving at this point? Not really. He's 4-0 down in first half, and that's going to be that. So, finally, we get a win after two quite annoying draws, and we're going to get into the play in the team, and we need a defender, like, really badly. So, first up, we're going to have Ag uh, Ogbonner, rather. Um, I think you'll all know who he is. Really good pace. Decent defending and heading. I don't love him, to be honest. He's not one of my favourite centre-backs, but he is lightning quick, so there is always that, which is good. Um, conversely, I absolutely love the guy next we've got, who's Samba Diakite, who was just signed for Sunderland in real life, and he's got 85 heading in this game. I think he's six foot four, and he's got high. No, he's got low high work rate. Sorry, so he just does not move from the back, and he wins every single header. He's an absolute machine. And the next guy we've got, Gambarini. He, I think he also has low high work rate, so this is very good as well. And he's got 78 pace, which is absolutely rapid for a centre back. And he's got some very good defending stats. So. To be honest, any of those three would massively improve the team, so just let me know who you want me to buy in the comments, guys. I have been a little bit biased there. I apologise for that. I try to avoid that as much as possible, but thanks for watching, guys. Seal that out with a seal of approval.